Hello YouTube, welcome to Hindiverse. This is the channel where you can watch and listen to amazing mystic and mythic stories as well as a lot of facts on Hindu religion and other religions as well. So please do subscribe to this channel if you want to keep knowing more entertaining facts on Hinduism. Now today I will tell you about Goddess Lalita who is the most powerful deity in the entire Hindu mythology. In full name, she is known as Parasakti Mata Lalita Tripura Sundari, which translates to Ultimate Power Mother Lalita, the beauty of three citadels representing earth, air, and space. She is a major deity in Saktism. She herself is the ultimate primordial energy of all universes. She is also the Supreme Consciousness or Nirguna Parabrahma, who rules even over the Trinity Goddess of Hinduism. Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. She is the ultimate godhead who can create or destroy the entire cluster of universes on her will and assigns Lord Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva for each universe, telling them what they are supposed to do. That's how powerful she is. By default, she is the formless divine primary source of every energy in the universe, without which no one can lift their finger even by a millimeter. She gives the motion to the nature. She channels all the existential power without any rules and limitations. While the Trinity, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva are bounded by their limitations and rules. She is mentioned in Brahmanda Purana, which explains how she was manifested into a divine physical form from her unmanifested Parabrahma form the Adi Shakti. Her manifestation was made possible due to the divine ritual worship of gods from the multiverse. Those gods from multiverse were being hunted down or being enslaved by a very cruel and powerful Asura named Bandasura. Bandasura was so powerful that he had already taken control of hundreds of universes and was causing chaos. To end the endless tyranny of such terrifying demon, the gods from multiverse made a plan to worship the goddess Adi Parasakti, who is the ultimate goddess in her boundless and formless Brahman form. Thus they started a Mahayagya, where they worshipped the goddess for hundreds of years. As the final ritual of the Yagya, all gods immolated themselves into the fire of Yagya, after which the divine goddess Adi Parasakti manifested into her divine physical form. After that, she resurrected all gods of the multiverse and restored their duties. After finally attaining her divine physical form, she waged war against Vandasura with her army of fierce goddesses. Eventually, she defeated Vandasura with Mahakameswar Astra which is thousand times stronger than all Narayanastra, Brahmastra, and Rudrastra combined. Narayanastra, Brahmastra, and Rudrastra are the ultimate weapons of Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma, and Lord Shiva respectively. This alone shows how powerful Vandasura was and why Goddess Lalita was needed to defeat him as she was the only one who could wield and use such powerful ultimate weapon, the Mahakameshwara Astra. There are still a lot of divine tales on her, which I will obviously bring to you guys in upcoming videos. Till then, please keep yourself tuned into this channel. And did you like my content today? If so, please let me know in the comment section below and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to keep enjoying this type of divine interesting tales of Hinduism. See you guys in the next video.